Hi Aries, Trishna here. Welcome to your February 2019 reading. What I'm feeling for you is that coming from January into February, you're feeling a little bit like January was a bit of a difficult month, but at the same time you're feeling good, you're feeling excited, you're feeling pumped about February because even though January has been a bit of a struggle, you have all the energy, all the oomph, all the drive to make February a better month than January was. Like you're excited to do whatever it takes to make February a better month. And the way that I see February going for you is I do feel like it's going to be a better month for you than January was. I, I feel like there's still going to be some, some challenges, some hurdles. Like it's not going to be a smooth sail, but for the most part, it's actually going to be a good month. Those challenges really aren't going to be anything major. And really, you just have this drive to where you feel like, I don't care if there are challenges, I don't care if there are things that I need to work on, things that I need to do in order to make this month better. As long as I get the reward for the work that I put in, I will do whatever it takes to make my month, my future better than it has been. And so I think that's a really good approach. I think that's a really, really good way of living, really good energy, really good mindset and outlook. And I think it's going to serve you really well. And one of the differences that I see with regards to February as compared to January is in January, I feel like your struggles were, were out of your control. It was like there were just things that were happening and you really couldn't fix them or make them go the way that you wanted, wanted things to go. But in February, it's different. Things are a lot more under your control. You can make things what you want them to make. There's a lot more control under, yeah, I think I already said that, but you have a lot more control with how things are going to go. And when you do put in the work, you can get out of it what you put into it. So that's going to be really good. In terms of any problems or challenges that I see, like I was saying before, I don't really see any major challenges, nothing that you can't really handle. I do feel like you are going to be moving forward, but things feel a little general for you. Like you're moving forward, but you haven't really defined the direction or what exactly you're going to be doing as you move forward. I don't consider that a problem necessarily because I do feel like as a month goes forward, you're, you're going to be feeling really good throughout the month. You're going to be working on things. You're going to be moving in a direction. It's just not as defined as maybe you would like it to be or it should be. So the guidance for you is really to try to define the direction that you're going in. Try to put some, what's the word, some, uh, put a box around what you're doing a little bit. Put some definition, that's the word. Put a little more definition around what it is that you're doing and I think that will really help you. I think you have a lot of positive energy pulling you through this month and that's like the, the benefit or the gift that you have this month is that energy and you want to channel it in the best way possible. So instead of being broad, you want to focus that really positive energy so that you're really moving forward and like not just moving forward, but really moving forward in the right ways and ways that are going to really help help you. And so try to define your direction a little bit more. If you are worried about defining your direction, you feel like you, you're going to be boxing yourself in, I really wouldn't worry about that too much. I feel like for those of you who are ready to define your direction, it's going to be the right move. It's going to be the right definitions. You're going to be excited about it. It's really going to push you forward in ways that you wouldn't be able to move forward if you didn't have that definition. For any of you who are maybe you know worried about boxing yourselves in, I feel like you're still going to make the right choices. You're going to be happy with the choices that you made. But always keep in mind that even whenever you box yourself in, like box yourself in, you can adjust your definitions. You can adjust the terms. I can't find the right word. Like the terms are like the edges. Again, you can change things. You don't have to be set in stone. But I think you will be happy with your choices. But if you are worried about that, know that nothing is necessarily set in stone at this point. This is all really just to help you make the most of your energy right now, help you really channel it. That's what the definition is really going to help you with. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that I earned a like and a subscribe from you. If you have anything that you'd like to share with me, don't, for don't, um, don't forget to leave me a comment in the description box and I will see you in my next video.